you get involved with this? Let's start at the beginning. How did you get cast as Captain Kirk? Uh, I auditioned like you do many times. I auditioned once and I didn't get it and then went back in and, and had a great meeting with JJ and you know, it's you a, it's luck. It's it's a lottery. It's pretty good out here, all the, the Trekkies and Trekkers. And yeah. what have you learned about the typical Star Trek fan from being a part of this? I've learned that they're really excited about our movie, which is a good thing to learn. And I've learned that uh, they're very committed and that they will follow you down the street if you're walking anywhere. What a reception when you got out of the car out here on Hollywood Boulevard. Pretty impressive. Pretty used to it. Um, it's kind of what happens when I go to Gelson's. Um, same thing. So. The grocery store, huge American yeah, premiere. Yeah. It's another day in the life, yeah. huh? Are you prepared to, for the rest of your life, be invited to these Star Trek conventions? You know, I'm not. I'm not going to jinx anything. I will say that. But I, I have asked Leonard Nimoy and Michelle Nichols if they were bothered, and they've been okay with it. So. You know, what the hell? I heard the film was so emotional for you that you cried the second half of the movie. Is that true? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. I hope I'll be able to hold it together for this screening because I, I haven't seen a lot of this movie. I was crying too much. <laughs> well, it's cool that a lot of the, the old cast members from the show, there's George Sakai, and we uh, I just got to meet Leonard N Nimoy. Which is yeah, yeah, Leonard, yeah, every time I see, you know, a couple of times I've seen Mr. Nimoy, I trip out. I love how the entire cast calls him Mr. Nimoy. That's yeah, really cool. I have to. It's like... It's got to be a real thrill for you to, to see all these fans on Hollywood Boulevard. You've been involved with some big movies, but this never like this. This is a trip. Yeah. You put your like head around posters it. Posters hanging out. Well, it's you just, know, huh? you know, you just kind of try and soak it in and go, wow, this is a once every long, long time, you know. Yeah, you guys are going to have a lot of fun at the after party tonight. Who's the last man standing? Do you know what? It's been a pretty great team effort over the last three weeks. There's been no early exits. Everyone's been pretty much shutting places down. It's been a... Good, solid effort. Well, you've got a head start because you're Australian. That makes it easier for you, right? It's going to be you and Simon Pegg going at it. That's it's what it is. The more pressure on me. It's just expected. All right, you guys are going to have a lot of fun at the after party here in Hollywood tonight. Who's the last man standing? Well, it's usually uh, either myself or Pine, actually. Really? Yeah. The American can hold down, hold his American own, huh? He can hold his own. You know what? The, Throw down. the kid's got chops. It's such a great ensemble that makes up the crew of the Enterprise. Yeah. At the after party tonight, who's going to be the last man standing? Oh, probably me. Yeah. yeah. The, the, you know what? They're all so young, and they just haven't got this, the stamina that Uncle the Simon. Wise bro, Uncle they Simon. Can, they can cut it. The last month of your life has been absolutely insane. How excited are you for May 9th, the day after the movie opens? And you can just put your feet up and chill a little bit. Yeah, man. I think actually May 9th it opens, and then we, we got to go off to Japan and promote it there. So there's a we, you know, it's like it's Still the tail bit. end. But I, 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 I ask no one to pity me because I'm having a great time and these are all, these are all good problems to have.